Apple estimates that it has sold close to 400,000 iPads in the past couple of weeks. Apple is using the iPad to try and control the third market alongside of their already successful smartphone and personal computer worlds. For more on Technology Forefront, we take you live to Stephen Langsome. First it was the iPod, then the iPhone. Now Apple is hoping the iPad can revolutionize the way people go about browsing the internet and checking email while on the move. The iPad, which was released earlier this month, it is currently only available with Wi-Fi services, but soon will be touching on the same 3G networks most smartphones are on. Apple has had its share of hits in the technology world, and the recent release of the iPad is no exception. The iPad is a mixture between a smartphone and a laptop. Apple's new device can access email, and with a built-in on-screen keyboard similar in size to a laptop, you can compose messages with ease. Plus, with a large screen viewing and surfing the internet can be engaging with a touchscreen ability. The iPad also has the ability to run all of the apps you can play on your iPhone and more, plus the convenience to purchase books online, store them into your hard drive, and read them at your leisure. The last reason is why Amazon, who is the producer of the Kindle, an electronic book reader, has felt an impact from the Silicon Valley-based Apple Computer's iPad release. Latest reports have Amazon selling the rights to the Kindle at Target nationwide. This is because the iPad will have books for sale at retailers such as Best Buy. The release of the iPad has had competitors chomping at the bit to get in the digital book market. Google, as well as Nokia, are expected to come out with similar products to the iPad, while Bay Area computer company Hewlett Packer has teamed up with giant Microsoft to create a hybrid product similar. The Apple's iPad, it should be available later this year. For State of Events, I'm Stephen Langsom.